1998, the uh, community of physicists received a shock. The shock is two teams of astronomers had figured out through observations of distant supernovae that the expansion of the universe, which everybody knew about since Hubble in 1929, that the expansion of the universe was not slowing down as everybody expected, but it was speeding up. It was going faster and faster. Shock. Now, why did people expect the expansion to be slowing down? Well, it's something that you've experienced, right? If you take a, an apple and you throw it up, Earth's gravity slows it down. Gravity pulls things together. So everyone thought that the galaxies themselves, their mutual gravitational attraction would slow down the expansion of the universe over time. But these astronomers, their observations showed a very different picture. Their observations showed that the galaxies are all rushing away from each other faster and faster and faster over time. This is as if you took an apple and you threw it up, and instead of it going slower and slower, the apple goes faster and faster. Now, how can you explain that weird observation? Well, the best explanation that we have to date is something called dark energy. Dark energy is kind of a diffuse energy that fills space. And according to Einstein's general theory of relativity, that diffuse energy can yield a repulsive, a repulsive version of gravity. What would that mean? So if this steam-like entity here is the dark energy, made white so you can see it, it yields a repulsive gravitational push that pushes the galaxies apart, causing them to move away from each other faster and faster and faster over time. The amazing thing is, if you go back into the historical archives of physics, in 1917, Albert Einstein himself introduced something called the cosmological constant. He introduced it because he realized that this number would yield an energy filling space that would yield a repulsive gravitational push. Now he introduced it way back then for the wrong reason. He introduced it because he wanted this outward push of gravity to counteract the usual inward attractive pull of gravity, canceling it out, yielding a static universe. That's what he thought. He didn't think that space was expanding back then in 1917. When it was learned that space is expanding, he threw the cosmological constant away, and as famously reported, he called it his greatest blunder. And the amazing thing is, post-1998, we now need a version of that cosmological constant. We need that repulsive gravity to explain the accelerated expansion of the universe. So in some sense, it tells us that even some of Einstein's wrong ideas, if you wait long enough, they turn out to be right.